Well, Matt Little heading off to the after party. Can't wait to get there. But ladies and gentlemen, right now we are set for some one-on-one action. Dolph Ziggler is set to take on Ricochet for the Money in the Bank briefcase. Dolph Ziggler has been a thorn in Ricochet's side for weeks. Both Ricochet and Dolph Ziggler have picked up a win on each other. So Hulk Hogan thought the only way to make this match interesting is to put that money in the bank briefcase on the line. I mean, basically, Ricochet is being forced to put the briefcase on the line. He literally probably didn't want to. He probably just wanted to fight Dolph Ziggler one-on-one -on -one without the briefcase on the line. But that is not the case here tonight at SummerSlam. And here comes Mr. Money in the Bank, Ricochet. He is set to defend that briefcase, like I said, against Dolph Ziggler. I mean, honestly, Ricochet, since winning the briefcase, has been almost undefeated. Dolph Ziggler is his only loss. I mean, he has been unbelievable ever since winning this briefcase. And I think it's going to continue here tonight at SummerSlam. I don't think this briefcase is going anywhere, but he's got to keep an eye on the, uh, Robert Lude, make sure he doesn't do anything. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Money in the Bank briefcase is on the line. The referee rings the bell, and we are underway. Here we go, right into the tie-up. Dolph Ziggler right into the back. He's got Ricochet. Ricochet takes him down into the headlock. And Ricochet right there. A knee to the back of Dolph Ziggler. And here we go again, right back into the tie-up. Dolph Ziggler takes the arm of Ricochet. And right there, Ricochet. Dolph Ziggler takes him down to one knee. Right back after the arm. And Dolph Ziggler, he's just twisting it right there. And wait a second, Ricochet with a punt kick. Ricochet with a punt kick. And now a moonsault to Dolph Ziggler for the win. Looking to reclaim that briefcase. And no, only a one count. Not sure what Ricochet was looking for there, but Dolph Ziggler looking to go right back on the attack, slapping him in the back of the head. And now into the sleep hold. Dolph Ziggler's trying to make him fade. Dolph Ziggler's trying to win that briefcase. He's trying to get the briefcase. Will Ricochet have to tap out? Will Ricochet faint? I don't know, but Dolph Ziggler's got the sleeper in. And wait a second, Ricochet. Ricochet's getting out of the sleeper hold. And Ricochet out of the sleeper hold. Here we go. Dolph Ziggler right back on the attack. A knee right there to Ricochet. Oh, my God. I don't know what he's looking for right there. But Ricochet with a knee. And Ricochet looking for that insert. Yuri. Dolph Ziggler's got him and slams him down right there. The amateur wrestling ability of Dolph Ziggler in display. But wait a second. Ricochet with the Meteora. Up to the middle rope. Here we go. Looking for that Phoenix Splash. No, Dolph Ziggler gets out of the way. And now Dolph Ziggler right there with a nasty right into the cover. Looking to take that briefcase away from Ricochet, but only a one count. And wait a second, Ricochet right there with the head scissors out of nowhere. Dolph Ziggler back up to his feet. Ricochet, here we go, German suplex into the Pele kick. Mr. Money in the Bank has taken control of the matchup here tonight. He's got Dolph Ziggler up. What in the world? Is Ricochet do oh my god, Dolph Ziggler just went face first into the mat. And now into the cover. Ricochet looking to retain. No, only a one count by Dolph Ziggler. And here we go, a snapmare by Ricochet. He was trying to do that earlier in the night. Ricochet, here we go. What in the world is Ricochet thinking of doing? Here we go. Oh my god, 450. Dolph Ziggler gets out of the way. Super kick to the gut. And now stuck in the rope. Ricochet sends him over the top rope. Ricochet's got Ziggler where he wants him. And here we go, Ricochet. Ricochet. Oh, my God, right there with the DDT right into the apron. Oh, my God. Referee starts his count. Dolph Ziggler getting back up. Ricochet waiting, though. And here we go, Ricochet with that crossbody right there. A springboard crossbody out of the wing to Dolph Ziggler. Just perfect. And here we go, Ricochet, what could he be thinking about doing right now? Wanting Dolph Ziggler to get back up to his feet. And Ricochet, here we go. Oh my God, what the hell was that, Ricochet? 
I don't even know what to call that move, but it was absolutely impressive. Like Ricochet always is. And Ziggler right into the LED green purse. Referee's at the count of five, six. Ricochet up to the top rope. Warning Dolphs are going to get back up to his feet again. Here we go. Dolphs are going to count of seven. Here we go. Oh my God, Ziggler dodges. And Ricochet might have just fell right on his leg. But wait a second. Ricochet right there with that head scissors. Referee restarts his count now. Dolph Ziggler sends Ricochet back into the ring. And here we go, Dolph Ziggler. Another slap to the back of the head of Ricochet. And right there with that kick to the midsection. Again, and now the famous sir. The famous sir connects. Dolph Ziggler into the cover. He might have just stole the briefcase away from Ricochet. One, two, and a kick out at the last second by Ricochet. That famous sir just about put things away. And wait a second, Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler is looking for that super kick. And wait, Ricochet dodges. Ricochet dodges. Dolph Ziggler going right back on the attack. Ricochet able to counter. Ricochet with the Meteora again. And Ricochet's got him up. Ricochet's got Dolph Ziggler up. Placing him on the ropes now. Ricochet sends him out of the ring. And Ricochet, ladies and gentlemen, here we go over the top rope. He takes out Dolph Ziggler. Are you kidding me? The athletic ability by Ricochet is impressive. And wait a second, Robert Roode getting involved. Oh my, that should have been a disqualification right there. But the referee's gonna let it slide. Ricochet staring down Robert Roode, now back into the ring. A slap by Ricochet, a forearm, a kick right there. Ricochet has got Dolph Ziggler in the corner. Here we go, Ricochet, ladies and gentlemen, right there into the Hurricane. Dolph Ziggler back up to his feet, though. Ziggler takes down Ricochet. And right there with that elbow drop into the cover, Ziggler trying to win the briefcase. And oh my god, he almost got it right there, but Ricochet able to kick out. These two are battling out for the money in the blank briefcase as Ricochet plants Dolph Ziggler head first. And now Ricochet, what? Is he going to be looking for that 630? Is he going to put things away right now? No, wait a second. Oh, Dolph Ziggler gets the knees up. He did not go for the 630. And Dolph Ziggler got the knees up. The price is going to pay him. Dolph Ziggler with a nasty right hand takes uh, Ricochet down. Drop kick by Ziggler now. In control, Ricochet has to roll out of the ring. And here comes Dolph Ziggler out of the wing, wing as well, but Ricochet's got him. Ricochet's got him and he plants him on the outside. Ricochet just planted Dolph Ziggler back first on the outside, but Ziggler throws Ricochet back into the ring. And Ricochet looking for a, well, Dolph Ziggler looking for a DDT. Ricochet turned it into a Russian leg sweep. And now, wait a second, Dolph Ziggler counters that. Dolph Ziggler just throws Ricochet. And here we go. Dolph Ziggler is looking for the repeative elbow drops. He's at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here comes the tenth one, right into Ricochet's heart. Dolph Ziggler into the cover, thinking that could be enough to beat Ricochet. This could be it, but a two count. Ricochet not gonna give up that briefcase easily, Dolph Ziggler. I mean, you should have known that. And now Dolph Ziggler could be looking for the zigzag. Here we go, Dolph Ziggler. Here we go, the zigzag connects, that's gotta be it. The zigzag connects, good night, Ricochet. Dolph Ziggler's gonna steal the money in the brink briefcase, not like this, not like this, but Ricochet kicks out, are you kidding me? And Ricochet right back up to his feet, Hurricane. Ricochet plants Dolph Ziggler, busting Dolph Ziggler open. And here we go, Ricochet into the corner. He's going for something, I don't know what it is. He's waiting for Dolph Ziggler to get back up. And here we go, right there with the code breaker. Dolph Ziggler is down, 
Dolph Ziggler's down. Wait a second. Robert Lube getting involved. What the hell? I should have known eventually Robert Lube was going to get involved in this matchup. He is just talking to, well, I don't know what he's doing, but he was yelling at Ricochet. And now Ricochet waiting for something. Wait, Robert Lube, right? Are you kidding me? Kick him out, ref. What are you doing? Kick this man out. He is distracting Ricochet. And wait, ladies and gentlemen, the referee has had enough. The referee is kicking Robert Roode out of the matchup. That means it's just Dolph Ziggler and Ricochet. Ricochet looking for the finisher. Dolph Ziggler able to turn things around thanks to Robert Roode. I think the distraction was planned, but I don't think Dolph Ziggler thought Robert Roode was going to get kicked out of the matchup. And right there with the zigzag. Are you kidding me? Not like this. There, No, not like this. Dolph Ziggler is going to steal this briefcase but wait Ricochet able to kick out are you kidding me I thought Dolph Ziggler was going to steal the briefcase away from him and now Dolph Ziggler just giving the referee an earful what the hell is going on this has been one hell of a matchup and now Dolph Ziggler has got to finish this match on his own and Dolph Ziggler here we go right there with the jumping elbow drop and now another one right there to Ricochet into the cover, thinking that could have put him away. And a kick out by Ricochet. Ricochet will not give up that briefcase easily. Dolph Ziggler right on the attack again. And here we go. It takes Ricochet down. Ziggler, the snap mirror right there to Mr. Money in the bank. Ricochet. Have to drag himself up, but Dolph Ziggler going right back on the attack. Ricochet fighting back. Ricochet is fighting back. Ricochet with the punt kick. Ricochet connects with the punt kick. And now Ricochet, what could he be looking for right now? Goes Dolph Ziggler into the corner. Here we go, the elbow. Another elbow. And here we go, right into the turnbuckle. Ricochet, 619. We saw Ray Mysterio earlier tonight. And here we go, Ricochet. Ricochet right there with that elbow drop. Into the cover. That could be it right there. Ricochet could retain the briefcase. But Dolph Ziggler at the last second able to kick out. Not sure what Ricochet has to do to put things away. But he could be seconds away from winning. Oh my god. He was looking for that code breaker again. Dolph Ziggler able to counter. And no. Wait a second. Dolph Ziggler is looking for the super kick. No. Dolph Ziggler's gonna win. Ziggler's gonna win. Here we go. Wait, 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 Ricochet dodges it. Are you kidding me? Into the roll up. That could be the win right here. One, two, three. No, a kick out by Dolph Ziggler. And Ricochet, wait a second. Ricochet, here we go with the uppercut. Ricochet with the uppercut. Here we go. Good breaker connects. That's gotta be match. That's gotta be match. One, two, Three and Ricochet retains the briefcase. What a matchup here tonight. Are you kidding me? Ricochet retains the briefcase. Right there. That was right before Robert Roode got involved after that code breaker. Luffley kicked him out. Dolph Ziggler took advantage because of that. Hit a zigzag. We thought it was over there. And honestly, I don't know what the hell happened. Right here looking for that super kick again, right into the roll up, and then right there with the code breaker again, and Ricochet gets the win here tonight. He is still Mr. Money in the Bank. What a matchup here tonight. Robert Lude got kicked out near the end. It was just Dolph Ziggler got clearly not enough as Ricochet is still the one and only Mr. Money in the Bank here in the universe mode. What a matchup. Congratulations to Ricochet on a successful win. Um, I don't know what they're talking about, but it surely does not sound good.
Um, am I the only one that saw that, or please tell me I did not just see that. I don't know what Finn Bauer has planned for Adam Cole, but it definitely does not look good now. But we are set for some two-on-two -two action. The Revival set to take on Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak. These two teams have been going out for like almost a month. So it's going to be interesting to see if tonight will put an end to things or if it will just light the fire some more. But this should be a great tag team match. Daniel Bryan, Drew Gulak, and the Revival should be one hell of a match here tonight at SummerSlam. And here comes their opponents for tonight, Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak. These two have been actually on fire since becoming a tag team, but they ran into a problem with the Revival, and they look to end it here tonight when they take them on on the biggest event of the summer, SummerSlam. I mean, what a way to end this for Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak if this is the end of this matchup. I mean, I don't know if the Revival wins. I don't know if it's going to be the end. If they win, I still don't think it's going to be the end. I don't know what's going to happen until one of these tag teams gets a tag team title opportunity. I literally have no idea what's going to happen tonight. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Drew Gulak and Dash Wilder are going to start things off here tonight in this tag match. And right there, Kurz line takes Drew Gulak down and going after the leg. I think Dash Wilder was trying to go after that injured leg of Drew Gulak. Now a DDT by Dash Wilder. And right there, trying to go after the knee. Right there, a knee to the midsection. Drew Gulak going to tag in Daniel Bryan, though. The Dash Wilder was going after the leg of Drew Gulak. I think that is definitely a good uh, good thing to do if you're the revival. Go after the knee. Make sure he can't make the tag. Make sure he can't continue the match. Now just stomping the life out of Daniel Bryan right there. And now Dash Wilder right there with the uppercut. Wait a second. Looking for a kick right there. Daniel Bryan with the dragon screw takedown. Now makes the tag to Drew Gulak again. Gulak into the matchup. Wait a second though. Dashwater turning things around. Dashwater not gonna let him get in control. And here we go. Looking for a suplex and he connects. Dragging him into the middle of the lane. Looking for a cover. Wait, no, right there. Double ax handle right into the face. And wait a second, no. This is what Drew Gulak needed to avoid. Targeting the leg, just punching the leg, the injured leg of Drew Gulak that got injured weeks ago by Dash Wilder. And right there, taking him down. And right now into the tag comes in Scott Dawson. And right there for a curse line, Drew Gulak able to dodge it though. Gulak right there with a nasty elbow allows the tag to Daniel Bryan. And right there, curse line by Scott Dawson right as soon as Daniel Bryan gets back into the ring. And here we go, he's got him up. Backbreaker right there. Into the cover of Daniel Bryan. Two close to the ropes though. And right there, he was staring down the left for Lee. I don't know why. I mean, he Daniel Bryan was in the ropes. And now wait a second, dragging Daniel Bryan into the corner now. And here we go, right here with the nasty right hands in the corner. Daniel Bryan is now down, and here comes Dash Wilder back into the matchup. And now here we go into the corner. And oh my God, come on, Luffley. He's just choking Daniel Bryan right there with his boot in the corner. And now Dash Wilder's got Daniel Bryan back up. Here we go. Sending him into the rope, running into Daniel Bryan. And it allows Daniel Bryan to connect with a drop kick right to the knee. Are you kidding me? Dash Wilder right back up to his feet though. A kick to Daniel Bryan. And here we go, sends him into the corner. A tag made by Drew, uh, Drew Gulak right there. And right there, insecurity as soon as he gets into the ring. And oh my God, right here, just punching Drew Gulak right in the face. Daniel Bryan still in the ring. Oh, Daniel Bryan fighting back with an elbow right there. And just goes out of the ring. And right there, oh my God, just dropping Daniel Bryan off of the apron. But Daniel Bryan right back up to the apron. Here we go. He's got him up on his shoulders. And here we go. Backbreaker right there by Dash Wilder. Into the cover. That could be it right there. The Revival could win right here. But a kick out by Drew Gulak. 
Not sure exactly what happened to Scott Dawson right there. We caught the tail end of it. And wait a second, here we go. Oh my God, Drew Gulak, Kurzlan to the back. Kurzlan to the back. That's why we're out of the wing. Daniel Bryan not able to take the tag. Kurzlan into the corner. And that knee right there, he stopped the tag to Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan was a little, not sure exactly where he was at. And now targeting the leg again right there with the knee breaker. And here we go, going out to the leg again. Drew Gulak not gonna let that happen. Gulak's not gonna let that happen. Kurzlan, close line by Drew Gulak. And now could he be looking for the Gulak, uh, Gulak? Scott Dawson trying to get Drew Gulak. And oh my God, the Gulak is in. The Gulak is in. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap out? He's going to tap out. Wait, no. He gets out of it. He gets out of it. That's why we're out of it. A kick to the back now. And here we go. Takes him down. Tag made to Scott Dawson. And here we go right there with that leg drop. And now picking him back up, looking to go right back on the attack. Are you kidding me? The referee, was, the referee did not see that actually. The, Scott Dawson's back to the referee, but a neck breaker right there. Scott Dawson out of the ring. Drew Gulak follows him now. And Scott Dawson, here we go, right on the attack, sending him right into the barricade. And now he's got him up. What in the world is he thinking of doing? And oh my God, head first right into the apron. That is the hardest part of the wing, especially right there with the LED board on it as well. And now here we go, sends him back into the wing. The referee's at the count of four. Honestly, I don't think the Revival would mind a count of victory, but right there with the leg drop. And wait a second, he's taunting. He's taunting, he needs to get in there. It's gonna allow him to make the tag. No, he stops it. He stops the tag from being made, sends him into the corner. And Drew Gulak takes things into his own hands, counters. He counters, and now with elbows, elbows right to the side of the face of Scott Dawson. And now Drew Gulak able to take advantage right now, right there with that elbow. And here we go, sends him into the ropes. Drew Gulak with another back elbow. And Scott Dawson right back up to his feet right there with the hill kick. And here we go, oh my God, he just took the leg out. He just sweeped the bad leg, oh my God, no. No, now he's looking for the submission. He's looking for a submission. He's got the leg trapped, he's got the leg trapped. It is Scott Dawson gonna make Drew Gulak tap out? No, Daniel Bryan able to break it up. And now into the cover right now, this could be it. Daniel Bryan breaking the uh, pin up this time. And right there, Dash Water trying to come into the ring, but the referee not letting him. And Drew Gulak right back up to his feet. Gulak's got him. Gulak's got him. And he plants him. Oh my God, right there is the opportunity. Drew Gulak might have just won the match for his team. This could be the matchup right here. This could be it for Scott Dawson, but a kick out. And now Dawson right here. Daniel Bryan takes him out. Come on, referee. I mean, I know I'm, I know I'm all for Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak winning, but I mean, Revival really haven't cheated that much in this matchup. That's to say, but right there playing possum, and now Drew Gulak right there gets connected with the curse line by Scott Dawson. And now Dawson going right back on the attack. He's got him in a sleeper. He's got him in a sleeper. Is he gonna make him faint? Is he gonna make him faint? Daniel Bryan able to break it up though. And wait a second, Dash Wilder trying to come back in again. Referee not letting him. And now here we go. Could we be looking at a tag by the Revival into the corner? Here we go. No, Drew Gulak gets the foot up. He gets the foot up. Here we go. And the back suplex. And now into the cover. That could be it for Scott Dawson. This is going to be it. No kick out of the last second. And now Dawson right back up to his feet. Here we go, we're gonna go right on the attack. He's got him up and slams him down with a power bomb. This could be it right here. This could be it, broken up by Daniel Bryan. And I think, the, wait, the left just got taken out as well. The left just got taken down whenever Daniel Bryan went to break up that, uh, that pinfall. And here we go, we're looking to make that tag. Scott Dawson not gonna let it happen, DDT. Here we go into the cover. One, two, three, but he kicks out. That would have been three right there if the referee would have got right on the 
right, right on the count. If he would have just got right there on the pinfall, but he was still down. And right there, an elbow to the head. And right there, look for a clothesline. Don't think he got all of that, though. And now with Gulak down in the corner. Here we go, Scott Dawson. Our oop throw just plants him. And now he's looking for that uh, chop block again to the knee. But wait a second, he doesn't realize it. Drew Gulak makes the tag. Drew Gulak was gonna make the tag. Daniel Bryan into the ring, takes Scott Dawson down. Scott Dawson out of the ring now. Waiting for Daniel Bryan. Here we go, he's got him. German suplex on the outside. And here we go, right there with the chop block to Daniel Bryan on the outside. And wait a second, Daniel Bryan though sends him back, sends Scott Dawson back into the ring. And now Daniel Bryan looking to go right on the attack. Daniel Bryan, dragon screw right there. And oh wait, if you saw Scott Dawson's arm hit the bottom rope too. I mean, that definitely did not look pretty right there. And now Daniel Bryan, here we go. With the suplex out of, off the apron. Back into the ring. And now Daniel Bryan going right on the attack. Drop kick right there. And now here we go, targeting the arm. Targeting the arm, twisting the arm, and slamming it down. Oh my God, that does not look pretty. Daniel Bryan has taken control right there with a knee. With a drop kick right to the knee, I meant to say, my bad. And now looking to possibly make a tag to Drew Gulak, but Gulak not ready to make a tag. He does not look good. And here we go, the alley-oop throw this time to Scott Dawson. And now Daniel Bryan, here we go. Scott Dawson able to turn things around. Here we go, he's got Daniel Bryan by the head. What is gonna happen here? Dragging him into the corner. And here we go, the tag is made. The tag is made. Here we go, down now. And here we go right there with the assistant leg drop by Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, the revival. And Daniel Bryan fighting back though. Daniel Bryan able to fight back. Daniel Bryan fighting back. Here we go, German suplex. And now dragging him into the ring. Daniel Bryan looking to put things away after that German suplex. Could this be it? But it's broken up by Scott Dawson. And here we go. Oh my God, the yes kicks. The yes kicks, the chance. The yes chance echoing throughout this arena here in Las Vegas. And the final one right there to the head, the roundhouse kick to the head. And Daniel Bryan into the cover, thinking this could be it for the revival, but it is broken up again. And here we go, Daniel Bryan looking for a kick to the back. Dash Water not gonna let that happen. Daniel Bryan out the back right there, punch to the back. And now a kick right there to the hamstring of Daniel Bryan by Dash Wilder. Daniel Bryan takes Dash Wilder down though. Daniel Bryan looking to go right back on the attack. Right there with an elbow to the back by Dash Wilder. Looking to go right on the attack as well. He's got Daniel Bryan up on his shoulders. And right there with the backbreaker. Back right into the knee of Dash Wilder. And now Dash Wilder looking for Gray. Oh my God, he, the code breaker. The code breaker, Daniel Bryan is down. Dash Wilder is down. He cannot make the pinfall. He cannot get the pinfall right away. Burst men were down into the cover. That could be it right here. But a kick out by Daniel Bryan. The weight right there. The fact that Dash Wilder could not get the pin right away. Might have just saved Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak's chances here in this matchup. And oh my God, he's got it. He's got the yes lock. He's got the yes lock. He's got it locked in. Is he going to tap out? But no, he was too close to the ropes. He was able to get to the ropes. And now Daniel Bryan just targeting the arm. Tag made. In comes Drew Gulak. And now Gulak dropping him. Well, dragging him into the corner. For the win, but a kick out. True Guru, I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. This tag match has been great since the start. And oh my God, no, he's got Dash Water trapped. And oh my God, he plans. And we saw that happen to Scott Dawson earlier in the matchup. This could be it right here for Dash Water. He's in the pin. This has got to be it, but it's broken up by Scott Dawson. And oh my God, no, 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 no. 
Referee's not even doing anything. Scott Dawson still in the matchup, allowing or breaking that up. Come on, referee, what are you doing? He's literally still in the ring. He's broken up the submission. Now the pinfall. What is the referee figure doing? And oh my God, a backbreaker. Come on, ref. Are you freaking kidding me? Now he's doing something and the code breaker connects. Are you kidding me? No. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me, referee? If you would have done something, that wouldn't have happened. That might have just ended the chances of Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak. But Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, here we go. Look for a drop kick. No. Daniel Bryan misses with the drop kick. Uh, Dawson dodged it, and Daniel Bryan has to roll out of the ring, and this could be the match right now. They could steal the match right now. Are you kidding me? Not like this. Not like this. The tag is made. Are you kidding me? They're going to steal the matchup. Not like this at all. Oh, my God. The Shatter Machine connects. Into the cover, and that's got to be it. Scott Dawson out of the ring. Are you kidding me? Three count. The Revival still the win right there at the end. What caused the match to end was the fact that Scott Dawson was in the ring for the longest time, and the referee did nothing about it, and it allowed the code breaker to connect, and they just took Daniel Bryan out. Daniel Bryan went for a drop kick. As you can see, Drew Gulak, the first one, is Scott Dawson planning him. I mean, Daniel Bryan went for that drop kick, and Dawson just dodged, and it allowed them to hit the shatter machine and pick up the win. I mean... It was a great matchup. There was barely any cheating going on until the end by the Revival. And the Revival still the win from Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak. This should have been Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak's moment, but the Revival still the win.